Santa's Close Call, written by Stella Gurney and illustrated by Dubravka Kolanovic. Christmas was coming and letters were flying in by elf post from all over the world. At night, Santa would read them by his warm, cozy fire, making a list of what each and every child wanted before passing the list to his head elf Elgar. Each morning, Elgar took the list to Santa's workshop and pinned it to the wall. All the elves would gather round to read it, and then busy themselves with their different jobs, carving and painting the toys or printing the wrapping paper. Santa liked to come and help whenever he could. They all worked very well together, though sometimes Santa would forget where he put his glasses, and then elves would all stop to help him find them. A few weeks before Christmas, in a small town far, far away from Santa's workshop, a young boy called Joe sat down to write a letter to Santa. For months he had longed for a toy truck, and now he was asking Santa for his heart's wish. Written his letter took him most of the afternoon, but he was very pleased with it. When he had finished, he folded it up, and he and his mother sent it up the chimney. That night, Santa sat by his fire to read his letters. He had lost his glasses, again, but he thought he could read pretty well without them. First was a letter from a girl named Blossom, who wanted a new bat and ball, and then one from a little boy named Peter, asking for a sailor doll. When Santa got to Joe's letter, he read it, and carefully wrote Toy Duck on his list before opening the next one. Christmas Eve arrived at last. All that long night, Santa and his reindeer flew through the cold, crisp, starlit sky, delivering presents to houses all over the world. Joe's house was one of the last they came to. Snow was falling softly as Santa brought his reindeer to land gently on Joe's roof. Wonderful job, my dear friends! sighed Santa as he eventually clambered out from Joe's chimney, a little tired and sooty. Another year's work well done. Now it's time for home and a hot bath. Home at last. Santa unhitched the tired reindeer and brushed them down before he and Elgar had one last look around the tidy workshop to check that all was well. But just as he was about to switch off the light, Santa's eye fell on a neat pile of letters ready for filling, with Joe's sighting at the top. With his glasses on, Santa could see the letter properly. Suffering snowman, he cried. We've made a mistake. A mistake? gasps Elgar. Look! said Santa, and thrust the letter at his head elf. Dear Santa, read Elgar, please, 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 can I have a toy truck? See, cried Santa, I gave him a toy dog instead. Oh, those wretched glasses, quick, we must get the right present to young Joe before he wakes up. Elgar clapped his hands and group of elves appeared at his side. He quickly explained the situation and they leaped into action. One immediately began carving a truck from a large piece of wood. Another began mixing brightly colored paint while yet another added glitter to a sheet of delicate wrapping paper. Before long, a glamouring new toy truck was ready to be wrapped. Meanwhile, Santa went to fetch one of his reindeer to make the journey back to Joe's house. but. They were all asleep, tired out, after their hard evening's work. Then a young reindeer named Rusty stepped forward. I'll go, he said. Santa gratefully climbed onto Rusty's back, and the young reindeer galloped across the snow before taking off gracefully into the sky. Stars were still twinkling softly, but the first fingers of dawn were beginning to creep across the horizon. They reached Joe's house just as the sky was lightening in the east with the promise of a new Christmas morning. 
quickly, softly, Santa managed to replace the gift of the end of Joe's bed with his new present. Joe stirred in his sleep as Santa tiptoed out of his room. Soon, Joe wake, delighted to see his beautiful toy truck, the present he had been wishing for all year. In the distance, bell tingling, Santa and Rusty trotted home, tired but satisfied knowing their work was done for another year.